and welcome to Art 111, also known as Art Appreciation. My name is Anna Wagner. Feel free to call me Miss Wagner, Professor Wagner, Anna Wagner, <laughs> and I have the pleasure of working with you this semester. Now I'm recording this short video to get you introduced to the structure of the course so that you'll know how to navigate it through the rest of the semester. I'm not going to go through everything and read it word for word because that would be super boring, but let me get you some of the basics to get started. To begin with, this is what our textbook looks like. Here it is sideways, and here it is right way up. Uh, the course is built off of the third edition. If you have an earlier edition of the textbook, that could also work, but the page numbers and the images will be a little bit different. You'll see as we navigate through the course in a second that all of the lessons are based off of directly uh, chapters in the book, and the midterm, final tests, quizzes, all of that is going to be based off of the vocab that is coming directly from the book. So, without further ado, let me give you some tips on navigating the course. When you enter into the course in Blackboard, it'll automatically send you to announcements, which will be periodically updated, reminding you of due dates. When you're getting started in the class, I urge you to um, begin with the Getting Started tab. It'll basically tell you what I'm about to tell you, and it will also link to um, your course syllabus. Now the syllabus is important. If you go into, next, course resources, this guy down here, you'll see the syllabus as well as some highlights from the syllabus. This is sort of, if you've got a, a question like about late work or textbook, that kind of thing, just go to course resources because chances are um, you'll uh, be able to find it as these little items that I've put in here. These are sort of the, the questions that get asked the most. Now, all of this information is also on your syllabus. So when you're getting started, please download the syllabus. So you'll click it, it'll download. I've actually got it downloaded and open right here, and this is what it will look like. Now a syllabus, as you might know, is sort of a document that just explains all of the policies of the course. In Wake Tech, the first part of the syllabus is a uh, division-wide syllabus. So in other words, if you're taking any art class, you'll get these first couple of pages are just all the policies of the department. Keep on scrolling down and um, you will get to a point where you see um, part three, instructor course syllabus. That's where you want to go for specific information about the class. So important specific info, and I promise I'm not going to read everything because it would be so boring, but here's a really important thing. My email, I don't have an office or office hours or a phone, but I do have an email address and I'm pretty responsive, so go ahead and email me with any questions. Um, some policies about the, the class that are important. First, Please don't email me your work. I'm actually legally not allowed to accept um, homework that's been emailed. You've got to submit it through Blackboard. Uh, discussion board assignments are not accepted late and um, tests aren't accepted late either unless you have a uh, documentable, verifiable emergency. All other stuff is accepted late, but Here's, a, here's an important one. It'll be graded down one letter grade, so like 10% down for every day that it's late. After four days, I stop taking off points. So if uh, an assignment was going to get 100%, you turn it in four or more days late, the highest grade that I can get is a 60%. There are um, two exams in this course, but they can be taken online. You don't need to take them at a testing center. Some other important grade info. Your grade is weighted, which means that not all assignments are worth the same amount. For example, you've got a bunch of discussion forums, but as a total, the discussion forums are only worth 20% of your grade. By contrast, your visual analysis paper, which is just one single assignment, is worth 15% of your grade. What that means, in other words, is, let's use an example. Let's say you're having a really bad week, 
you know you're not going to be able to get all of your work done. You have a discussion forum and a visual analysis paper due. Um, I would recommend if you can only do one of those assignments, only do the visual analysis paper and turn it in on time because it's going to be worth a lot more of your grade than one discussion forum. If you are missing one discussion forum and that's the only thing you're missing and otherwise you would have 100% in the class but you're missing one discussion forum, then you might get a grade of like 98% in the, in the class. However, if you were going to get 100% in the class except that you didn't turn in the visual analysis paper, you see the visual analysis paper is worth 15% of your final grade. That means that if you turned in everything except that, um, the highest grade you could get in the class would be an 85%. So just keep that in mind when um, you're doing your assignments. You can track your grades all the time in the Gradebook app in Blackboard, which I'll show you in just a sec. And then if you keep scrolling down, um, you can get to the course calendar. So the course calendar has all the due dates for all of your different assignments. Assignments are always due on Wednesday or Sunday night, and I define the night as all the way up to 11.59 p.m. Um, I will also be sending announcements about when things are due. Typically, you have a discussion board due almost every week, as well as some other kind of assignment. Maybe it's a written assignment, like the first one, or maybe it's a quiz. So that's kind of the most important um, stuff from the syllabus. So what you'll do once you've kind of downloaded and looked over that yourself, then you're going to take the course entry quiz after you take the course entry quiz, which you, you know, you'll click on it, and then you'll take this, it'll ask you some questions that are coming off of this. Um, you need to take this class or this quiz just to show that you've um, begun taking the class. So after you've taken the course entry quiz, uh, the rest of the course information will be unlocked to you. And the rest of the course information is found in lessons. So, all of the classwork for this class is divided into various weeks, and each week is sort of broken up in a similar way. It'll contain a task list, which is basically just a checklist of things that you need to get done with due dates. It'll show you um, sort of lesson outcomes, meaning what you're uh, learning this week. And then there will be two folders. One of them will be learn, and it will contain various links to things that you need to review before doing your, your assignments. And the two assignments, or you know, one or more assignments that you have for the week, are going to be found in that create folder. So for example, in this first week, you've got two assignments, a discussion board and a written assignment. Um, discussion boards uh, can also be accessed under collaboration discussions, quick note, with the discussion boards, you have a post that's due on Wednesday night, but then following that on Sunday night, you'll go back into the discussion board, you'll read over your fellow students' work, and you will comment on two of their posts. Now, discussion boards are meant to sort of simulate an in-class environment where you would be looking at and working with each other and looking at each other's work, etc., etc. So it's important that um, you access them weekly. That's why they're not accepted late because they're supposed to sort of simulate like an in-class, like real-time kind of environment. Um, now, finally, uh, you'll go into. I'm going to turn edit mode off and enter student preview so that you can see what it will look like for you. You'll go into my grades. And throughout the semester, you'll be able to see what you've got on each individual assignment. And you'll be able to follow your grade in real time. Weighted total is what your final total for the class will be. And finally, here's another way to access it. Um, OK, there we go. Ah, interesting. Um, Ooh, doo -doo. Edit mode is on. There it is. Uh, when you click on faculty information, you will be able to access my email. Um, and 
please don't hesitate to reach out with any questions. All right, thank you so much for watching this short video, and I look forward to working with you.